Hey everybody, so you've decided that Stack is the right tool for you, so uh, let's talk about Stack. So first of all, what is Stack? Uh, Stack is a tool to install GHC automatically. Uh, I'll talk about GHC just in a little bit here. Um, it allows you, it's a package manager, so you can install and build uh, packages that are needed for your project. And then it's a build tool, so you can build and test and also benchmark your project. So um, the, the next piece of the puzzle is GHC. What's GHC? Uh, that's the uh, Glasgow Haskell compiler. It's sort of the de facto Haskell compiler in 2021 and probably for the foreseeable future. Um, so let's install this thing and uh, get an example project up and running. So uh, I am inside a Ubuntu virtual machine that's pretty lean and fresh. And uh, I know it has wget and uh, I would have to install curl. So I'll just grab uh, the wget instructions here and uh, stick them in over here okay and this will install some stuff on my machine that's necessary to run stack and this will take a little bit okay wonderful so we have stack installed now and you can see that the tool itself was installed in user local bin stack uh, and it gives us a warning here so it says uh, dot local bin is not in your path and the reason that this is a warning and we should probably do something about it is that if we decide to install some tools, which I'll show you later on, uh, they're going to end up in dot local bin. Uh, and so we need to get this into our path so that we can have these tools uh, in the future. So let's just open up our bash RC and just add this thing to our path. So local bin path. And then source that thing. Uh, since we're not installing anything in this video, we technically don't need to source, but um, sometimes it can be a good habit to be in. So now we have stack installed and we're ready to start a project. So how do we do that? So the, all you need to do is write stack new, and then I'll just call this project a uh, sample project. So what this thing will do is it will download a template from stack and uh, populate some of these values. So it says here that you can add some uh, .stack config .yaml so that it will populate some of these other values for you, and then you don't have to like fill them in later. But we're not going to do that right now. You can do that uh, yourself. And you'll see here that it just made this directory here, sample project. So we can just go inside there and poke around. So uh, the most important things are app main and source lib. Okay, so what is this thing? So main, app main, is the entry point to our executable. So by default, you get an executable and a library. So this is the entry point to the executable. The entry point to the library is this module lib, and you can see that it defines one function called some func, and then we just uh, pull that in in the main and run it. Okay, so all this thing is going to do is print some func to the uh, console. Okay. So now that we have this, uh, we should try to build it. Um, so let's do that. So stack build. All right. And the first time you run this, it's going to have to install a compiler. So this is the installs the compiler automatically. So what this thing's going to do is it's going to go grab a uh, GHC and you can see right here that it's grabbing a uh, GHC 8107, which we'll talk about in a little bit. This will take a little bit of time to install. Uh, this only needs to happen once, which is nice. So once it happens once for a particular um, resolver, uh, then you're good to go. And I'll explain uh, resolvers here in a moment as well. All right, so the build is done. So this thing has finished installing GHC. You can see right there, it says install GHC. And then it built our library and our main, and um, we can see that it succeeded. So what now we can just uh, run this thing. And if we stack run, we'll just get that, that console output that I suggested before. Uh, you technically don't have to run stack build before stack run. If you just run uh, stack run, it will build if necessary. So that's a, a convenient tool. Um, the last thing we could do is we could test this project. All right, so we, yeah, we just ran stack test and you can see that we got test suite not implemented, um, but you know, we could implement tests later. So the last thing I want to talk about is how did it pick the version of GHC? So if we open up this stack.yaml, you'll see in here we have a resolver, URL, and then this long URL here. So let's grab this thing and go see what this is. All right. 
So this is a big file, and uh, the only part I really want to point out is right at the bottom. So if we look here, it says resolver compiler 817. So this is how it chooses which compiler to uh, to use. And if you use the same resolver over and over and over again, you'll end up using the same compiler. And so all of these things will be cached on your machine and you won't have to like reinstall GHC every time you do a project. So you might ask, well, what's the rest of this stuff? And so the rest of this stuff is just a, uh, it's basically a snapshot of all the libraries that are compatible with GHC 8.10.7. And Stack goes through a bit of trouble to make sure that all of these libraries work together. And so all of these uh, hashes and um, locations are just to make sure that all of these packages work nicely together. And so that's the idea of this of uh, Stack snapshots and resolvers. Uh, thanks for checking out this video.